exciting English lesson where you take charge of the lesson and uh, are learning uh, improving your academic uh, discussion skills. I'll see you after this intro. And we're live! Welcome to English Palette, another exciting lesson. Welcome to School 2.0, where you, the student, are uh, creating the lesson. This is probably the first time in history that I am aware of where we are live. As, uh, there's a lesson that is streamed to multiple platforms and allows students from all over the world to join the lesson live and interact uh, and learn this way. So we are a part of a growing community and we are just so excited. I am just so excited that you decided to join us today. If you are joining us from Discord, that's great. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are a visitor, make sure you become a part of the server you're on so that uh, and, and choose the student role or English classes role rather so that you will never miss another announcement. Whenever a class is announced, uh, you will be, be you will be pinged. Um, and to all the repeaters, thank you so much for being here. I was really excited to teach this particular lesson uh, on the environment and our own convenience. So this is great. I think I hear it's time to start. Yes, it's our school bell ringing. It's time to get started. Excellent. Nice to see you guys. I can see the chat is filling with people. Um, wonderful. Okay. All right, guys, so I feel great today. Exactly, this is how I'm feeling this morning. Listen to this. Wow, I feel good. <laughs> yes, I feel good, and I hope you are feeling good too, because uh, today's lesson is important. I think the topic is important, the environment. Um, and so this is what we're going to do. We are going to, first of all, say hello to our uh, participants here. So if you want to say hello, raise your hand now and I will unmute you and you'll be able to say hello to the audience. So hi. Hi, guys. Say hello. 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 Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Where are you all connecting hello. from? Hello. Yes. Nice to see you here. Where are you connecting from? Uh, from the Philippines. From the Philippines, <laughs> wonderful. I'm in Western Canada here, so this is amazing. Okay, anybody else? We have like the um, United we'll Nations help. here. Well, I'm in, the, I'm in the U.S. In the U.S. Okay, Kenzo, you are in the U.S. Excellent. I'm, I'm in the South Korea. In South Korea. Wow. Welcome all the way from South Korea. We have really an international class here. Wonderful. And we have more people waiting really? to join. Just raise your hand and I will unmute you so that you can say hi. Franklin is joining I'm us. from India. Oh, there's yeah. students from Hello. India. Wonderful. And Franklin, I believe you are from Venezuela. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for joining us Roman today. Well, yeah, yeah right. I'm really grateful to all the repeaters. Uh, so uh, <laughs> if you, this is your first time, make sure that uh, this is not your last time. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's uh, switch the screens and I'll bring up on the screen the important stuff. Okay. Right. Are you excited? I am. All right. Okay. Now you should see on the screen my classroom. And what we're going to do is, first of all, pull up the English Hub. All right, guys. This is the commercial stuff, the commercial stuff. <laughs> wow. Well, the English Hub is a growing community of learners, people who want to learn and practice English, and it's on Discord. All you have to do is download the Discord app to your phone and join this particular link. 
The link is, as you can see, it's in the video description, both on YouTube and on Twitch. All you have to do is tap it, and then you are already a part of this community. So even now, as you're watching it, do that, and you will be uh, able to join our class and be a part of this exciting lesson. As you can see, we've just passed 7.5 thousand users and uh, the, the hub is serving, uh, growing quickly. And it's a great place because it's clean, it's safe, and it's a place where you can be yourself and you will not be judged by, uh, you know, if you make mistakes and things like that. So join us uh, and, uh, and have the, you know, don't miss the fun. All right, guys. And as you know, today's topic is the environment. And as usual, I always post the questions on my website prior to our lesson and I trust that uh, those of you who are already familiar with our system have read the questions so let's not waste any more time um, and what we're going to do is basically start reading the questions here we go uh, the topic question is the main topic is is personal convenience killing us talk your head off talk your head off that's when you talk a lot well um, so, the first question is going to be this. What things in modern life do you find convenient, right? And how do they impact the environment, right? How do these things impact the environment? Explain your answer. I think this is going to be easy. So, I encourage you to take part in that and just make a list of things. For example, the other day I was drinking water from a plastic bottle and I thought to myself, wow, this bottle was made just for me. And after I finish drinking this water, this plastic bottle is going in the garbage. Uh, what a shame, right? And so that's just one example. Question number two. Would you be willing to give up your personal convenience in order to help save the environment? And as a matter of fact, just before this stream started, I usually ask my students this question in the YouTube channel. So as you can see, I asked uh, this poll in the YouTube channel before we started streaming and it seems like 67% of you, the audience, um, uh, answered that yes, they would be willing to give up convenience to save the environment, but 33% of you said no and I would like to hear your reasons why uh, you think um, no, giving up the convenience is not worth it. Okay, so remember always before we start streaming, check out the YouTube page and if you want to answer the poll question, uh, it's there uh, advertised for you. Well, let's move on to question number three. Are you actively doing anything to, sell, to solve environmental problems? What do you do or have you done? So people do simple things like, for example, put a plastic bottle full of water in the toilet tank so that every time they flush the toilet, you know, they're using less water, right? Because the volume of that bottle that's sitting there in the tank is deducted from the amount of water that is being flushed every time. And for the most part, that works just as well. Question number four is an opinion. So we have those questions as well. The root of all environmental problems is the economy. So it's the companies that try to make profit and so on. Do you think it's correct or is this view correct or do you have your own opinion on this topic? Why or why not? And question number five. Some people think the environment is not in crisis. So we call them environment uh, or, or maybe climate change or environment uh, de denialists. People who deny that it's happening. Well, of course, there's at the other end of the spectrum people who are really uh, uh, stressing the, the importance of uh, doing something about the environment and we call them the environment alarmists. Um, so, so we have the deniers, sorry, the deniers, environment problem deniers on one end and we have the environmental alarmists on the other end of the spectrum. So. Some people think it's we're not in crisis uh, and uh, maybe the world is overreacting. Do you share this opinion? Yes, no, why? Maybe what do you think of people who share such opinion? And remember, here we are not judgmental. We are here to practice our English skills and, uh, and I hope everyone uh, has room here to voice their opinion as long as their opinions are well supported. All right, guys. Okay, so these are the questions on the table. And now what we're going to do is almost bring up our wheel of names and ask for volunteers to be the part of our first round of discussions. Okay. Here we go. Part of the first round. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, this is amazing. All right, I'm so excited. The room is filling up with people. Make sure you invite your friends. If you are just joining us live or watching this recording later, we are live on Discord. The English Hub is the server name and it's linked in the video description. Join us either now to join the, the discussion or also join us later uh, because these classes take place three times a week on a regular basis. You can be a part of our next lesson. All right, guys. So what we are going to do now is we are going to uh, ask volunteers to be a part of our first discussion group. So uh, we have Sally. Sally, would you like to be a part of this discussion? Hello, Sally. Uh, I think I am. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sally. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Uh, yes. Sure. Maybe. <laughs> uh, maybe. OK, well, let's try it. So I'll add your name to this. Sally. OK, great. Thank you for volunteering. Next, we have other people. Um, uh, how about Gun Grammier? Gun Grammier, would you like to be a part yes, of this discussion? I would okay. love. I would love to. I would love. To. Okay, Gun Grammier, you are added to the list of speakers. And what about Franklin? Would you be a part of? Would you like to join us? For sure. Okay, Franklin. Hi. Thanks. Thanks for volunteering. Okay, so we already have three. We need more. We need more. Kenzo, would you like to be a part of this first round of discussion? Sure. Why not? Kenzo, okay, yes, excellent. Thank you for the volunteering. And we also have some people here. Konda, hello, Konda. Would you like to be a part of hello. this discussion? Absolutely. Yep. Yes, okay. If we're talking about the environment, Konda, okay. If you want to be a part of this discussion, you need to raise your hand. Uh, Danny is raising her hand. What about you, Danny? Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Just unmute your mic and say so please and thank you okay danny thank you and one more one more person and we have meow ming meow ning meow, meow ming am i saying your name correctly hi welcome to the party meow ming yeah hello hi. Meow. hi would you like to be a part of this discussion yeah sure meow I'd love to. okay i just want to get your nickname correctly meow 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 <laughs> Ming. Meow Ming. Meow Ming. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> All right, guys. Excellent. So stay at least for, for this first round. Of course, you can leave later, no problem. Uh, but the first round of this discussions is starting right now. So I need you to head over to twitch.tv and slash English spot. And this way you are going to be... Um, um, you're going to be able to see what's happening on the screen. <laughs> We are selecting our leader. Okay, who is going to be our leader? Miao Ming, look at that. Miao Ming, you are our discussion group leader. Congratulations. Huh? Uh, what was the link? Can you repeat it? Sorry, the link? Link? Yes. Twitch.tv slash English spot. English spot, one word. S P O T. English right. spot. Yes. Leader is Miao you. Ming. Uh, uh, by the way, Miao Ming, the leader's job is to make sure that you read the question and make sure that there's no silence, that people are participating. Is that okay? Would you be able to do that? Hello, Miao Ming? Hi, you, you muted yourself. Can you unmute yourself? Hello? Hi. I think we lost Miao Ming. She Hello. Herself, so. Okay, Miao Ming, I think we lost you. So what we're going to do is we're going to give uh, maybe uh, that role to an active participant. Miao Ming, you'll be the active participant. I hope you can reconnect. Okay, I hope you can reconnect. All right, and now let's choose our leader. <laughs> See, I'm doing everything on the fly. Danny! Hello, Danny. Can you uh, can you confirm that you know what the leader's job is? Hello, Danny. I joined the live a little bit late. Yes. So I didn't hear everything. Hey, no problem, Danny. Danny, the leader's job is just to re-explain. 
Yes, Danny, uh, the leader's job is just to make sure that people are actively involved. So, of course, you can voice your opinions, but at the same time, I want you to point to your group members and say, hey, uh, what about what about you? What do you think about question number two? OK. All right, I can do that. Yes, sure. But of course, you are ex uh, uh, voicing your opinion as well. Our timekeeper was going to be make sure, uh, making sure that uh, we are not d uh, dwelling too long on one question, so the timekeeper will voice their opinion as well, but when uh, the discussion drags on, the timekeeper is going to say things like, hey, shall we move on to the next question? Here we go. Who's our timekeeper? Looks like Sally. Sally, you are the timekeeper. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, how did I check uh, each other's time? I will show you the timer on the screen, so you'll be able to see the time. You, don't worry, you don't have to cover all the questions, uh, but the point is that if the discussion, you know, there's silence and the, the, and the leader is not doing their job, then you can say, hey guys, what about the next question? All right, moving on to our active participants. <laughs> That is going to be Kenzo. Kenzo, your job is to talk your head off. Now, the devil's advocate. Let's see who that is. Oh, Konda. All right, Konda, excellent. Konda, do you know what devil's advocate uh, role is? Uh, well, I know, I know what the term stands for, but... Uh... Okay, so, so normally you just voice your opinions as normal, you discuss and so on, huh? but let's say there's a question that everyone agrees on, there's nothing to talk about. Then you take the yeah. opposite view. You say, hey, wait a second, I think not everyone agrees. Uh, what about those people who disagree? What would you tell them? Okay? okay? All right, excellent. And now we're going to see, let's choose one more active participant. <laughs> one more, one more. And that is going to be Gun, Gun Brenner. Okay. Then Gramir, you're another active participant. We're going to have three this time. Just in case one of you drops out of the call. Okay. Yeah, I'm a very, I'm a very active participant. Yes, you have to talk your head <laughs> off. And Franklin is going to be our summarizer, I believe. Franklin, yes, definitely. Okay, so frankly, your job is to uh, normally discuss the topics as usual, but at the end of the discussion, we will also ask you to say two or three things that really uh, may were the most interesting to you during the discussion. Okay. All right, guys, we are all excited. Uh, let me bring up those questions on the screen again. All right, and if you're joining us live right now on Twitch or on YouTube, well, make sure that you head over to twitch.tv. Um, a slash English spot and if you're on Discord make sure you join our English hub to never miss a lesson again all right here we are guys it's time to start our round one of our discussions ready let's go all right let's go let me bring up our timer on the screen no that's not the timer where's our timer did I close the timer? I probably have closed the timer. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Do you see the question on the screen? All right. Here's our timer. Let's stop it. Resize it. Here we go. The first question on the screen that I see is: What things in modern life do you consider convenient? Make a list of things and consider how these things impact the environment. All right, guys. Are you ready? What are things yes. that are convenient in your life? Time, start. Okay, guys. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, might, can I suggest the uh, question number four? Oh, sure, if yes. you want to. Sure. Everyone, if, uh, is everyone okay with that? So, yeah. Uh, wow, that's a difficult just question. Okay, fine. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just to, to just to repeat, uh, just to repeat what the question is uh, mm -hmm. it is an opinion yeah. uh, that the root of uh, environmental problems uh, is the ec is the economy uh, do i agree with the opinion uh, why or why not um, for me i 
do agree uh, that the economy is the uh, reason why we have uh, economical uh, or rather environmental problems. But economy is also the uh, is also not the culprit because um, uh, what do you call it? Um, they could uh, change up their ways uh, in production. Um, uh, what they call it? The reason why I uh, told her, uh, first that they are a they are the uh, culprit um, is because of the role of supply and demand. Uh, if someone wants or someone needs something. Um, as long as there is a demand, as long as there is a demand, um, the economy and the companies would uh, keep producing uh, that one thing. For example, plastic bottles, since it's very convenient uh, and very readily available, and it's to the point that it is a norm to uh, like whenever you when you when you whenever you uh, go out. Uh, that uh, if you, for example, forgot mm-hmm. your uh, water bottle or um, okay, reusable... Okay, Gan, Gan, I know you're making an excellent point, but try to wrap it up, okay? Well, let's not drag it out. Okay. Be consci- okay, conscious uh, of the time, okay? You made a very yes, good yes, point. Yes, sorry. Mm-hmm. sorry. So, no yeah, like, like what I said, um, economy is both uh, the instigator and uh, with improvement, it could change... And economy could uh, could help the environmental. So uh, environment uh, in the environment. Uh, you guys have any other uh, opinion on the? Uh, uh, I I actually disagree with that because environmental changes has been happening since the beginning of time, right? I mean, you look at the ice age and everything that happened. It has always happened. And as for the current environmental change, you can't really quantify as to how much we are involved in it. We still can't. There's thousands of studies on it. We still can't quantify how much hard take we did sure environment so i mean uh uh economic things uh, do cause it like you mentioned caustic and all i agree with it somewhat but it being the roots of environmental changes i fundamentally disagree with that right only thing i i i could agree with is for example um let's say rails being hunted right but i don't think that characterizes as a environmental change right i think so so yeah that's my point Interesting, interesting. Come on, guys, jump in and uh, discuss this question. Is this all the economy or is it us, the humans? Uh, Personally, I agree both with Conda and Gun. My opinion on it is that a lot of companies will use what's cheaper to cause more equity and just get more profit in general. So instead of using a glass bottle or plastic bottle, it's easy to see what the big corporation would choose. Mm-hmm. The well, curve. I think that is not. It's not the, the the root of the environment problem and the environment crisis. It's not only the economy. It's more that social and uh, culture uh, problem. I mean, it's not only by the economy. It's not only by the uh, big companies just sell uh, bottles or sells uh, I don't know uh, things that when you made it, it uh, made a disaster. To our environment, it's also a problem of the people, of social or culture. Uh, it's a problem because we also bought it, uh, we also buy it, and so it's part from the economy and it's part of social and culture uh, problems. I see. I don't buy it. I see your point. Sally, uh, that's actually Malvin, a good point. Do you... Yes. What uh, do others yes, think? Do you... mm-hmm. Yes, Dana. Hi, Dani. You were saying? I was wondering if Sally or Mel Miao Ming had anything else to say or add to the topic. That's a very good uh, suggestion. Yeah, let's check in with them. Sally, Miao Ming, do you okay, have anything? Hello? Yes, hello. Mm-hmm. Oh, because my screen is a little bit slowly, so number four is right question. Yes, it's a question, right? Mm-hmm. Sally, we're talking about the, what is the root problem of our environmental problems? Is it uh, the economy? Is it that companies want to make profit? Or is it uh, the users, the you and I, people who buy the stuff? Yeah, uh, I agree with that opinion because the 
the reason everything in this world and why environment is being、uh, worse and this kind of. I mean, all happening about the world is just for economy, because every country wants themselves to develop their country or the economy. So then, that kind of things make the environment really worse and worse. I think.、Mm-hmm. That's a、mm-hmm. good point, but. One thing also to address is as a country develops more, develops more, right? And、uh, and what ends up happening is when humans become sufficient, we start to care about other problems, right? We start adding regulations to companies that are affecting the environment, and that's what's fundamentally happening in Canada, United States, Australia, and stuff, right? But then again, there is、uh, third world countries where there's massive uh, uh, conditions which are not safe at all, even for the workers. And they don't do anything for for that, even human rights violations and so forth and so on, right? I think as a country develop develops and a culture develops,、uh, they're gonna care more about these stuff. That's that's my belief. Then again, a lot of families in poverty most likely cannot afford using reusable bottles. So then again, it's both the problem of the people buying it and the companies. We just need to make affordable. Types of reusable plastics. Well, not plastics, but you get the main idea. Interesting. Okay, look, you have、uh, just over two minutes. So, what shall we do? Yeah. What do you think? Do you yeah, we can、mm-hmm. probably move on to a different question. Okay. All right. So, give me、uh, the idea. What do you want to do? What about number five? I mean, since.、Mm-hmm. And since we just answered the fourth question, I think you should change it to the first because we can't、okay. answer that, right? Okay. Okay. Recognize that. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, what are some things that you guys consider convenient in your lives? Actually, I'm taking away the leader's job. So,、uh, leader, what do you think? Maybe you direct this discussion. Personally, a lot of the things that I use are bottles, cars.、Mm-hmm. Plastic forks when I'm out to eat. A lot of the things that are just you would think, well, it's already made. It's not a big deal, but honestly, it does make a big impact. And those are just the main idea: plastics, papers that were made and put out to use, like when I go to a gas station and there's plastic cups, things like that. Yes,、mm-hmm. that's right. Okay, I'm making a list, guys. Continue. Yeah, for me.、Um, The things that are very convenient、um, that、uh, impact the environment is our obsessive use of paper,、uh, specifically bond papers.、Uh, whenever we're like printing、um, uh, documents, like a, a lot of paper is wasted. So yeah. So what I do to、uh, prevent that is I I I just. Uh, what they call it? I try to digitalize everything as much as possible. So, hey guys, what about、yeah. tissue? Tissue. I mean, people used to have handkerchiefs,、oh, yeah. handkerchiefs in their pockets、mm-hmm. that they used to wash, and now we have a box of tissue that we just dispose of. Ah, I think the reason why they、uh, prefer the、uh, tissue it's much one. It's much more convenient to. Uh, much more. Uh, I uh, I think.、Uh, yeah, I think it was prime. Yeah, it's more hygienic. That's why they prefer it. Yes. Okay. Very、yeah. good. So we also have cars, so, transportation.、Uh, okay. I think I'm going to extend、yeah. the time for you guys. So consider yeah, the impact、please. of all of these things on the environment. Yeah, from the paper waste.、Uh, one is from the paper waste.、Uh, carbon.、Mm-hmm. Um, the plastic.、Um, It's it has a very long decay. It takes millions of、uh, I think millions of years. I, f- I forgot the exact、uh, amount of years、um, for plastic to decay, but it takes a lo-、uh, a very long time、uh, to decay. So uh, reusing uh, reusing that could reduce the impact of、uh, on the environment rather、um, for、uh, for the、uh, fossil fuels. Like what we're doing now, we're transitioning to uh, electric, uh, mainly electric, uh, reu- uh, renewable uh, sources. So yeah.、Mm-hmm. Um, 
else do, uh, do we have inconvenient? Um, okay, anybody else? Uh, for example, how does AC, air conditioning or refrigeration, you know, we like to keep our drinks cold. Um, so we, we go to the store and they're already cold, chilled for us, waiting. Uh, how does that impact our environment? I think that's the uh, carbon monoxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide? Dioxide, yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, one is uh, its uh, electrical so powers uh, or the power source of the refrigerator or the electronic. Uh, it, it, especially if it uh, comes from the uh, fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. So you're, we're just uh, continually adding carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide into the uh, atmosphere. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually play the devil's advocate here, right? Mm. Okay. When okay. it comes to, uh, <laughs> when it comes to refrigerators, the thing is, it's keeping our food uh, kind of alive, right? If you have to leave it in the oven, yeah, it's obviously not gonna be good after a while. And that could be the vegetables or animal or animal meat, right? And yeah. if we didn't have refrigerators, what ends up happening is we end up uh, uh, wasting a lot of meat or. Uh, yeah. vegetables so we'll have to hunt more or um, harvest more isn't it better to just keep them fresh i see so preservation is your point hmm? preservation probably. food preservation refrigerators probably do more good than harm that's my point oh i see i see mm. three yeah. Two, one. Okay. All right, guys. Times up. Times up. Times up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right? Second part to this question. Oh well, of course. We will do two or three rounds. At least three rounds, maybe. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. This was awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this one. But now let's just ask our summarizer, Franklin. Are you here? Yes, it. Franklin. Yes. Excellent. All right, Franklin, so what I want you to do now as okay. a summarizer, just step back and maybe um, re, uh, recap the discussion or actually try to say maybe two points that were really interesting um, that came out, came out of this discussion. Go ahead. Okay. Well, first of all, I think that about the root of the problem with the, with the environment is that it's not only economy, it's a boss. Uh, so as economy and as cultural or social problem, I mean, it's not only the business or the companies who uh, made uh, bottles, paper, it's just so as user who buy it, who use it. So it's a problem of both. So as well as them, as us. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, other thing that I think uh, it should be interesting to discuss is the... We shouldn't use so as much as our car if you have a car and it use a uh, gasoline or some petrol products. So we shouldn't use it so as much. I mean, there are a lot of uh, options like electric cars uh, to use it and to don't hit so much the environment. I mean, uh, so mm -hmm. a refrigerator okay. is a uh, a needed uh, product to uh, conserve uh, meats and food, but an air, air conditioner is not so uh, needed. So we should uh, have more care with the things we use, uh, our electronic things we use. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Summarizer. You did a great job. Good job, thank you. All right. <laughs> By the way, guys. Yeah, know if yeah, that's good. You mentioned two points, the... and I asked you to uh, to do two points, right? So remember, the summarizer's job is not really to share their opinion, but just to share uh, the in interesting things that came out of, out of the discussion. So which you did very well. Thank you guys. So now uh, let me ask the participants. By the way, if you are waiting in the room and you want to be a part of this discussion, don't go away because there will be another round very shortly. So you will have your chance. But now let me ask the participants, how did it go? If you can just reflect on your discussion now and just say something that re went really well. And maybe if you can mention something that you would have changed uh, in order to improve it if you were to do this again. 
Who wants, who wants to start? Uh, I would like to Okay, start. Gun, go ahead. First the positive and then something for to improve. Um, the positive thing is that um, I am like, what it goes again, I'm, I'm very active, yes. Um, and I have a lot of uh, knowledge in the topic. Uh, the negative thing about me uh, during this uh, round and this discussion uh, is that I, I, what they call it? I hoarded the spotlight. Um, okay. For a lack of a better term, um, uh, yeah. I hoarded the spotlight. So mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, th um, I would like to improve that. Uh, since mm -hmm. in uh, in conversations, you need uh, sharing information. Uh, like Very good. you don't need to ho ho uh, hug the spotlight. <laughs> Yes. So yeah, th those are my positive and negatives in this round. I think I think that's great that you're reflecting on this, and I just want to tell you that uh, it's not really hoarding hoarding the microphone or you know whatever you're saying. Uh, what it is is trying to be let's be more economical with our language, right? So you wrap up the ideas in an economical, uh, efficient way. You know, you make a sentence, you give it a point, and that's it, and you leave it. Okay instead of just dragging on and keep talking about the same point. You made a point, you gave an example. Okay, what do you guys think? You see what I mean? Okay. One positive yeah, thing yes. that I've... Yes, go oh, ahead. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Danny, your turn now, okay? One positive that I found is we've touched on a lot of different topics and mm -hmm. problems, but one problem I haven't seen very brought up much is that people in poverty, they're not going to be able okay. to afford that stuff, so... Uh, they won't and be able to afford point. the stuff that is, are you saying, sorry, uh, the stuff that is helpful to the preservation of environment oh. or this, which stuff? So like glass bottles, reusable mm -hmm. stuff. It's oh, going to okay. be a lot more expensive than, say, a plastic bottle I see. at a gas station. I see. Okay, yeah, good point. Good point. Yeah, I was just, uh, you know, because this is an English lesson, so I was trying to help learners reflect on their participation, how they how they, uh, you know, their performance in this round of discussion, right. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, constantly between the topic of the environment and to the actual discussion, how the discussion went, okay, because that's what we're practicing here. So thank you, Danny, for that comment. Anybody else? One more? Uh, how about Franklin? How did you do? Did you like your uh, okay. performance here? Or what do you think? Uh... Yeah, but uh, I think that I did it uh, pretty well, but I think that I don't have a lot of knowledge uh, about this topic, but I think that I think that I can improve is to get more vocabulary to express myself about what I'm trying to say to you guys. Excellent. I think that that's the thing that I, I think I could improve, and the good thing is that, well, I already participate and listen to the other guys and... Well, I think that I, I summarized the, all the, the points. Excellent, Franklin. <laughs> Thank you. So the vocabulary bit is that's why I, pre, you know, I try to help students uh, and that's why questions are posted uh, several days in advance. This way students know exactly what they can, you know, they can prepare their points uh, and vocabulary as well. Good point. Uh, and how about you, Sally? How did you do? Uh about this discussion yeah just this round of discussions yeah are you satisfied with your participation what was the good thing uh, about it and what would you have changed if you could no i'm not satisfied uh, with the people around because uh i think the positive thing i had is anyway i jumped in this discussion uh, even though it was my first time and I mm -hmm. was really nervous. Very anyway, good. I jumped in. Excellent. Yeah, it is, it is the only one positive thing. <laughs> and the uh, negative thing is... Uh, okay, not, ne of, not negative, uh, but what would you change if you were to do this again? See, I'm not saying, I'm not going to say, oh, that's a bad thing you did. What I'm going to do is uh, let's focus on improvement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, improvement? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, if I if I join the next time, maybe mm -hmm. I want to I want to do more assertive and uh, assertive, and I want to more concentrate on this discussion and more understanding about this as 
<laughs> Excellent. Okay, so you want to be more assertive and just participate more in general, right? Yes, jumping in with assertiveness. <laughs> Excellent. That's good. That's a good point to be working on. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Well, that was really amazing, everybody. So once again, a big round of applause to everyone. And now I'm going to give you my feedback, okay? All right, guys. And now it's time for feedback from the teacher. <laughs> well, first of all, the first round of discussions is usually very rough. People don't know what they're supposed to be doing and so on. So I must tell you right off the bat, this time around, this was really great. You knew exactly what you were doing. And I think, you know, that's because some of you are repeaters and you know already the system. So I am happy about that. I'm also happy about the fact that you talked on topic and that most people were involved more or less equally. So I think the, the leaders did a good job. I'm, I think the participants did a great job and even devil's advocate jumped in to stimulate the discussion, that, which that is really great. Okay, for the points of improvement, I would just say that uh, again, I would agree with uh, Gun Grammier. Try not to hoard the microphone for too long but be more economical with your language so say yeah i don't think i agree with you here is my point here is my example to support it what do you guys think about that and just let it go all right but other than that excellent work is that you is that useful for you guys is that useful yeah thank you okay. absolutely yeah. excellent excellent wow okay <laughs> Excellent. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. And now don't go away uh, because we are going to get into our second round of discussions in just a minute. All right. If you're joining us right now on Discord, we are live on twitch.tv slash English spot. So head over there and you can see what's happening on the screen. We have questions co uh, concerning the environment and our personal convenience. Uh, we've answered some questions, but there are still questions that need to be addressed. So we are opening up the floor to uh, our next participants. If you want to participate in a second round of discussions, please uh, raise your hand now and I will oh, let you in. Reiko, hello Reiko, would you like to be a part of this discussion? Please confirm. Hello Reiko, you have to unmute yourself. Reiko, okay, uh, doesn't seem to be working. RK77, how about you? RK77. No, I would love to, I would love to. Okay, we're talking about environment, RK77. I recognize your nickname, you are a repeater, welcome back. Okay. No, that's great, no, that's you. awesome, that's no. good. Okay, we have Autumn Shell, how about you? Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Hello, you have to unmute yourself. Autumn Shell. Autumn, Autumn Shell. Um, okay, uh, this doesn't seem to be working. What about Alpha, Alpha Furball? Alpha Furball, would you like to be a part of this discussion? You have to unmute your mic. Okay, that doesn't work. What about Sue? Hi, Sue. Hi. Hi, Sue. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Yes, I like to. Okay, wonderful. Sue, thank you for volunteering. I'm putting down your name. All right. We also have uh, uh, Miao Ming raising her hand again. What happened to your mic last time? Miao Ming, would you like to be a part of this discussion? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear can you now. Hear you now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, okay, you. very good. I'm glad you're joining us again. You didn't give up so easily. That's wonderful. Uh, Idek. Idek is a visitor. Welcome, Idek. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? On the environment. The topic is environment. Um, yeah, I'd like to. Okay, very good. Idek, uh, welcome. So we already have four members. Two more are needed. Raise your hand now. We have he 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 ha 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 member. How are you? <laughs> oh, sir, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Would you like to be a part of this discussion on environment? Yeah, why not? I'll Excellent. Talk about some okay. AI. 
All right. <laughs> no problem, yeah, thank you. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. All right, so raise your hand, guys. We need one more participant. I ch I asked Autumn Shell, but uh, that person doesn't seem to be uh, responding. So we need one more. Raise your hand now and join the party. Alexia, Alexia. Okay, how about you, Alexia? Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Hello, Alexia. You have to unmute your microphone now. Okay, Alexia is not responding. Um, okay, guys, raise your hand. All you have to do is click that hand icon and you will be able to. Um, Alexia, let's try it again. Alexia, how about you? Now, try to unmute your mic. Hello? No, it's not working. Okay, um, sorry about that. One more person. We need one more person. Alpha? No? Okay, what is going on? Um, okay, we have Yash. How about Yash? Do you want to be a part of this discussion? The topic is environment. All right, Autumn Shell. We'll try again. Autumn Shell, do you want to be a part of this discussion? Please confirm. Okay, and um, we have the devil joining us. The devil, how are you, devil? Do you, do you want to be a part of this discussion? Okay, well, okay, guys, this is, seems to be uh, taking forever. I don't want to keep our listeners waiting and our participants who are really willing to uh, to participate. We have Sandim. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Sandim, hello, unmute yourself. Okay, I don't know what is happening today, even though I invite people to the classroom, uh, their mics. Hello. Sapphire. Oh, hi, Sapphire. How are you? Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Yes. Okay, excellent, Sapphire. Nice to have you. We have our bases loaded, as we say. Can you hear me now? Uh, oh, Autumn, whoa. Sh Autumn okay. Shell, uh, we can hear you, but the sound quality is bad. So I'm sorry, I cannot allow you to be a part of this one right now, unless you do something to your microphone. Okay, so we have our participants, RK77, Su, Miao Ming, Idek, <laughs> Alexia, and Sapphire. Wonderful. Let's load our wheel of names. And we are going to first select our discussion group leader. Who is it going to be? RK77. Okay, RK77, you are our leader. Good for, uh, good for you. Now, timekeeper. Who is our timekeeper? Keeper is going to be Sue. Sue, excellent. You are going to be our timekeeper. That means you are, of course, discussing the topic, but at the same time, uh, making sure that the discussion doesn't drag on too long. Now, active participant number one is going to be Idek. Idek. Congratulations. Next, the participant number two. All right, and that is Sapphire. Wonderful Sapphire. Congratulations. One more active participant. All right. That is going to be Miao Ming. Congratulations, Miao Ming. And now, who is our devil's advocate? Let's find out. Congratulations, Alexia. And Hehehe <laughs> is going to be our summarizer. All right, good for you. Okay, does everyone understand their responsibilities? Okay. Yes. 
So, uh, leader, make sure the people are yeah. involved. Okay, active participants speak. Everyone speaks, actually. Uh, but you have oh, additional sure. roles. Yes, like devil's advocate. When there's silence, then you jump in and you try to argue the opposite point. And summarizer, yes. at the end, we will ask you to uh, give us the mostly most interesting tidbits. All right, guys, are you ready for it's round two? Move to the audience. Uh, yes, Autumn Shell. I'm sorry. Um, maybe we can try again if your mic is working next time. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. All right, wonderful. And you guys, if you're just joining us right now, we are live on uh, Discord, English Hub. Uh, and we are also live on twitch.tv slash English Spot. So you have to be watching at both, watching both screens to know what is going on on the screen. All right, guys. If you are ready, I'm going to start the second round of our discussions. Let's go! Let's go. Time start. The leaders take it away. It's all yours. Okay, so the f okay, so the first question is what things in modern life do you consider convenient? How mm -hmm. do they impact environment? Explain. Okay. So good. there are many things in modern life that uh, we as a convenience we are using it, just like plastics or just using by your own personal vehicle rather than using public transport. And as well as like the recent thing that I heard was sunscreen. Like the sunscreen is very harmful for the marine and uh, marine life, which harms the environment uh, as a whole. Mm -hmm. Sunscreen, interesting, is harmful to the environment. Okay. Someone could add up, add more about it. Mm -hmm. Active participant. So we already yeah. have two items: yeah. sunscreen, plastics. All kinds of plastics, right? Mm -hmm. And even you own vehicle. The most important of all, all um, the microprocessors which we have, transistors, and we have the air conditioners, laptops. So these things produce a lot of carbon uh, carbon dioxide. So they have a lot of carbon footprint. And if you move on to the air conditioners, they have CFCs and the refrigerators too. So they're relatively safe in the troposphere where we live in. And when it gets to stratosphere, where the ozone is there, um, it interacts with the ultraviolet rays and it breaks O3 into a single dioxide um, monoxide, which can interact uh, with other radicals and break those things apart. So we have global warming and carbon dioxide um, is the global um, uh, warming contributor. It's a greenhouse gas, as they call it and that causes greenhouse effect basically that captures more of the heat from the sun mm -hmm. but carbon dioxide is also harmful for the humans like the air that we are breathing in right now is not at all clean so not for the environment as well as for the humans it is harmful carbon dioxide everybody is co2 okay but right. one might argue that mm -hmm. co2 is not actually harmful like um, if you don't consider the heat and if you don't consider it as a factor of global warming, it can like a contributor, it is actually kind of good because um, carbon dioxide is the way that trains the trees photosynthesize. And, um, and don't you think the 71% uh, of our environment is nitrogen, right? So if you give a pure oxygen uh, tank to somebody, they can't live on it for like three days because the lungs are going to get rusted, kind of. But still, the major contributor of pollution in this world is carbon dioxide. So you can't deny the fact that you uh, carbon dioxide is good for the environment. So why do oh. trees need carbon dioxide? They are like, you know, giving out oxygen, which is more efficient to humans and more useful to humans than carbon dioxide. Okay, well, I think the agreement is that there should be a good balance, right? You can't claim that uh, Carbon dioxide is bad for the environment. I think if it is, if there is too much carbon dioxide, it could be bad for the environment. And I think that's what Safar is trying to point out, right? There has to be a good balance, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So moving on to the next question, would you be willing to give up personal convenience in order to help save environment? Why or why not? Support your answer with example. So on a personal basis, you can do small things like giving up on plastic or using more of public transport rather than going with your own private vehicle. I think that's the third question on what you would do. I think this is if you would give up or not. 
Yes. Oh, so yeah. Question. So let's uh, talk about it. Uh, yeah, these are personal opinions, of course. Would you give up? And what would you give up? Plastic bottles, plastic cups, so riding in a car. Alexa could, mm -hmm. Alexa could have the opinion. Okay. Oh, so if no. nobody's gonna speak, I'm going to proceed oh. by saying, um, so sunscreens actually. Um, they did bleach the coral reef systems, which like the Great Barrier Reef uh, near Australia, and it affects a lot of fish populace and the marine population ecosystem as a whole. But I wouldn't be willing to give up my sunscreen because um, I kind of get sunburned, and when I go to the beach, I definitely need sunscreen, so that's a must. But what I could give up is something like a plastic bottle or something like a disposable hand glove or straw but um, we have these distractions right so we have these instagram influencers putting out stories that hey give up your plastic straw and get a paper straw instead and you see how paper straws are made there the trees are cut and those trees can actually take in more carbon dioxide and produce oxygen but they just cut for the sake of making paper so, and you look so, at the uh, impact okay. that the plastic has it's very minimal right so you don't have any sizable significant impact but you still give up and you just feel better about it okay, that's so not the way I to go a devil's, uh, devil's advocate for a minute i would say why should i care about the uh, environment why not others care about it i'll keep on using the things which i use rather than you know caring about the environment you know there's only one life so why should i care about it Mm -hmm. Why There's should I care about it? Mm -hmm. There's only one life, but if you give birth to another life, let's say your children, um, so I'm why sure should I care about them? Like mm -hmm. I was, I'm alone. So life. I don't plan to <laughs> have children. Why should I care about them? So let us so let us get this uh, down. Do you guarantee here? that I will live for next fifty years or so? We I have a real die, devil's uh, advocate live. here. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it, it comes to what your values are, right? If you think that the future generation should have a better, you know, life and a good planet to live in, then you'd want to help if you don't really care and you're just like, oh, I'm going to pass on anyway. I don't really want to give up anything. That is your value. It depends. It's extremely subjective. So you're trying to say... It like, all really boils down to just one thing. Like, if the veterans we in the world want to... Yeah? Continue, continue, continue. Uh, no, I was just uh, saying, um, veterans in World War II just suddenly went home and they said, hey, we won't fight the Nazis and we won't fight the Japanese invasion. You know, we'll be sitting you know, in a country that is called different than what it is called currently and you might not have freedom of speech, you have a different constitution, more at least. So, as humans, um, we do care about uh, our future societies. So you, and you are trying to say that we have moral obligation towards the environment and we need to care about it. Indeed, but uh, devil is exempt from all those, so I understand your point of view. <laughs> well, he's he's a devil's advocate in this round of discussion. He's not actual devil, okay? <laughs> That's Let's make that distinction. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, that is tacitly implied. No, because, okay. uh, no one was speaking, so I thought of taking that point. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, very good. I appreciate That's that. I really appreciate that as a teacher. Okay, so guys. Let's move on to the third question. Okay, very uh, good. Actually, actually, I think, okay, I think my, my opinion for the second question was... Um, uh, I don't. I don't fundamentally believe that you can legislate your way through climate change because uh, usually what I've seen in the news, it's it's primarily um, politicians fighting against this, right? I think the solution to this is actual a new technology that can prevent it. And one example is I haven't checked this company by the way, so anyone can fact check me on this. But it's called Carbon Engineering. Carbon Engineering, and I think what they do mm -hmm. is they collect CO2 from the air, right? And they suppress it underground and then they try to treat it into uh, small tablets that can um, power uh, petroleum cars from what I've uh, gathered. Uh, and they, there's a whole factor of other things uh, they could also do with it. And I'm not, uh, I haven't searched it out, but my example is that I think companies like this and inventions like this is a, um, a solution to solving climate change rather than politicians uh, legislating their way through, right? Because uh, in, in the US, they uh, the left tried to bring a uh, deal called the Green New Deal and pretty much what it instated was that in the next 15 years, they wanted to uh, 
take off every uh, 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 vehicle that uh, was run on patrol, right? And also every jet and airplane, and they also wanted to shut down every fossil fuel company in the next 15 years. No, that's not going to happen. And if it did happen, that is going to directly, directly uh, uh, de-employ like 8 million people. Then hundreds. It, it's going to be a disaster for the economy. It's going to be a disaster for the company if that gets passed. And I, th I don't think that's going to help at all. If anything, that's going to humanize us and we're going to be in a massive trouble. So, yeah, I agree point. with you. I agree with you. And so, um, recently there was news that Bill Gates is planning to you know, invest do uh, billions of dollars into terraforming our Earth. So they want to install these big glass panels and yeah, yeah. Let's, let's move That's on to the next question. The time is running up. Uh, <laughs> are you actively doing anything to solve environment problem? What do you do or have you done? So just by planting trees or you know, mm -hmm. uh, doing small things in your daily life can change change your outlook towards the environment. Like you don't have to do something big in, uh, to save the environment. Even your small habits can change it. Okay guys, are you doing anything to save the environment? What are you guys doing? Let's extend the time a little bit. So I'll give you two more minutes mm. so that people can uh, no. share their opinions or views. Two minutes, guys. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Well, go on. All right. So I would totally give up um, most of the things I use mm -hmm. um, because most things I do use, I don't really need to use. If that makes sense, like. Issues I don't really need to use. I have my own. Uh, I have my own personal handkerchief that that I can just wash at any time. Mm -hmm. Um, and me, even if it's just me that's doing it, I mean it's still slightly helping. I mean, am I right or am I wrong? Mm -hmm. Um, I would give up a lot of things. I would give up plastic bottles. I would give up using napkins. Because there's a lot of things that uh we don't need. Like it's. It makes things easier, but we don't need it. As a matter of fact, I think if I think if we advance off like this, humans like us are going to get lazier, and things are going to get more difficult. Because what we're doing right now isn't really solving any problem, especially like when there's like a lot of trash that we need to get rid of, mm -hmm. and like something, and like a lot of people are helping, but not everyone's helping, and. All right, all right, guys. Uh, yeah, I think you made a very good point. I'm just looking at the time. Do you want to add something to this? You see, if I were the leader, so I would cut him off here. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. so that was a question. Like, would you give up on your convenience? Like, if a devil's advocate would have to argue on this, he would say, "Why should I give up on my convenience? Why should I refill the bottle again and again rather than not buying this, uh, buying one?" That would be more easy for me. No, the question. Like, wait, the question is: Are you doing some? Are you doing something to solve the environmental problems? What are you doing? And if the question yeah. is nothing, that's okay. the answer. Okay. So, what about you? What are you doing to solve the environmental problems? Okay, Can one I more minute. This? Last minute. There you go, guys. Okay. Final stretch. Can I join this? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, there are many limitations to solve environment problem in my private life so uh i just i just try to buy the no chemical shampoo or these kind of things you understand or detergent mm -hmm. yes because if uh the those kind of actions can be uh can be making the really clean water if not really clean water but more clean cleaner water and then our child our children mm -hmm. and the under under generation can meet the clean water and they can also see the clean ocean and even and also they can see the clean air because water is connected Time with the air condition is oh up <laughs> time is up i'm so sorry sally that was a very good point but unfortunately time was up right thank you so much everyone this was amazing and i really enjoy uh even the last minute jump-ins so sally i appreciate that you jumped in now what i want to do is ask our summarizer hey 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 are you still here <laughs> or shall we call you something else <laughs> Hi, are you still there? Or have we lost him? 
I think they love it. Okay, if he left, then would anyone like to volunteer to be the summarizer for us? All you need to do is mention two points that were really interesting during this round of discussions. Who would like to try that? I can summarize it. Okay, go ahead. Thank you, Danny. Mm -hmm. One good point everyone made was the, the fact that, yes, there's things that we can do, but am I doing it? Another good point is that people are becoming more lazy because of convenience. I see. Thank you so much. Well, that was a very succinct and uh, direct d uh, summary. So thank you so much. That's great. Excellent. Good job, Danny. All right, guys. So now those participants who are still in the room, um, please reflect on your uh, on your performance during the second round of discussions. Please focus on something positive that you think went really well and then make a comment on how you would change it if you were to do this again. All right. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay, RK77. What was something that went well for you this time around? So this time I spoke uh, more. Uh, mm -hmm. Last time I was a summarizer, so I couldn't speak a lot. Okay. Uh, I, what the thing that I could improve is I could get more points, and I could I could express more of my opinion. Good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. Okay. Well, so uh, what would you have changed if you were to do this again? So I would have changed like uh, the way I presenting more points, the way mm -hmm. I'm speaking, mm -hmm. and more vocabulary I would add to my conversation. Very good. Uh, I also would suggest that you speak directly to the mic. Sometimes it's muffled, sometimes it's very clear. So I don't know what that depends on, whether you're moving your device okay. around. But uh, uh, yes, uh, so that just for I next time, okay? Mind. Thank you, that's great. Yeah, sure. Good points, good points. Who else wants to reflect on their performance? Nobody? Okay. All right. Well, in that case, it's time for feedback from the teacher. Okay, feedback from the teacher. All right, everyone. The second round of discussions was excellent. Okay, there were some good points about it. Let me mention what they are. First of all, you talked on topic. You were not only, you were also cognizant of the time and you tried to not focus on one question, but you went from question to question to question. I think you've tackled three questions, if I remember correctly. And I think that was a great thing. I also think the good thing about this round of discussions was that people were more or less involved equally. And actually the leader directly pointed to members and says, what do you think about that? And I would like to see more of that happening. I also, there was a disagreement there. And in that disagreement, you guys remained quite civil. You didn't start calling each other names. There was no fighting that broke out. And for me as a teacher, that is a great plus. I think it's that's our advantage here that we can discuss ideas and still remain friends and have a difference of opinions. In terms of, I had to become a devil's advocate. Yes, he had to. Yeah, it was, he had to become a devil's advocate, and that's great. That actually makes our discussions better sometimes. Uh, in terms of improvement, I would what I would say is that uh, try to again be economical with your language. So don't drag out the point too long. If you already made a point. That's it, wrap it up and say, yeah, what do you think? Just give the mic to the next person so that they can respond to it. The longer you speak, the harder it is to the person to respond to your point because they have already forgotten what it was. Do you understand what I mean? Okay, so I hope that feedback is useful for you. Say that it is if it's so. Is it useful, guys? Okay. Very useful. Very useful, okay, excellent. Well, this is exciting. Don't go away because we are going to go into our third round of discussions. So if you want to be a part of our third round of discussions, please raise your hand and I will call you. I will pull you into the queue of participants. All right. And now while we're waiting for our new participants, I just want to show you that we are live on Twitch here, twitch.tv slash English Spot. There are ways to get in, uh, to support the channel. You can become a fan of the channel. You can, um, um, you can donate one time. You can donate on a regular basis. You can also book a private lesson. If you are a learner, you can book a private lesson with me. If you are a teacher, you can book a consultation. I can come into your classroom and I can do a workshop 
uh, on how to teach online or I can share my ideas with teaching online. Also, this is our link, the link to our Discord server that we are on live all the time. Please also check out the tab where you see our schedule of classes. So check out the schedule tab as well. And of course, follow the social media links, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, whatever you are, wherever you are, I am probably there too. Well, that was the commercial time, commercial spot. And here is our English Hub um, server link, also linked in the video description. Please join that Discord server is the best place for you to practice your English and to make new friends. All right, and now going back to our discussion on the environment. Round three. Round three, let me bring up the questions again on the screen and see who wants to be a part of our discussion. All right, excellent. I see some people here waiting. For example, Autumn Shell, is your microphone working this time? Hello, unmute yourself, Autumn Shell, and tell me if your mic is working. Can you hear me this yes, time? Yes, this time we can hear you much better. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? I'm so glad you know. Okay, very good. I'm so glad that you can make it this time. Can I just call you Autumn? Yes, that will be okay. Okay, Autumn, that will be your name in our discussion. Uh, anybody else? I want to uh, re uh, encourage our members. Song, how about you? Would you like to be a part of this discussion? You have to unmute your mic. Yes, I do. Okay, Song, welcome to the group. Welcome to Excuse the group. Excuse me, could yes. you please pull up not LMJ? They were messaging me a second ago and they really want to get up here. Uh, not LMJ. Okay, they have to raise their hand first and then I will pull them in. They just put their hand down. Okay, so please, not LMJ. Let's try it again and I will pull you in. Not LMJ. Okay, we also have Jack here. Jack, would you like to be a part of this discussion? Not LMJ, I'm still waiting for your hand to go up, okay? Jack, can you unmute your mic and tell me if you want to be a part of this discussion? Uh, anybody else in the audience, raise your hand and we'll pull you into the discussion, all right? Uh, idle loner, I'll, idle loner, yes, how about you? Oh, it's uh, Dylan. Dylan, okay, Dylan, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dylan, would you be a part? Oh, sorry, uh, give me a second. Somebody's knocking on the door. I can't hear you. You want? Do you want to be a part of this discussion, or uh, or would you just listen this time around? Uh, I'll be a part of the discussion, but uh, I gotta go answer the door really quick. Okay, sure. So, uh, okay, Dylan. All right, I'll add you. Uh, all right, where is that not LJMN or whatever uh, that user's name was? Please raise your hand now, and I will um, I will add you to the group of discu uh, discussion members. Uh, Jack, how about you? Unmute your mic. Would you like to be a part of this discussion, Jack? Uh, okay. Set up the moment. There's a lot of background noise, so they just need to wait until it quiets down, and I'll okay. join the next round if it opens up. Okay, thank you so much. That's great. We have Epic Engineer joining us. How about you, Epic Engineer? Hi, would you like to join this discussion? Hi, Epic, you need to unmute your mic and speak. Hey, let's test your equipment. Epic, I cannot hear you. I'm um, so sorry about that. Well, I hope you can do it next time. Jade, how about you, Jade? Would you, be, would you like to be a part of this discussion, Jade? It's on the environment. Hello, Jade. Hi. Hi, Jade. Do you want to talk about the environment here? We have some questions predefined for you. Oh. <laughs> I guess not then. Okay, thank you. Well, what about our members? I see there's a room full of members. We actually have all, almost 40 people here. Uh, well, don't be shy. Raise your hand right now and let's join this discussion on the environment. I will walk you through it. There's no need to be shy. It's you improve when you participate. Okay, so we have Adam. How about you, Adam? Can you hear me? Yes, Adam. Yes. Do you want to be a part of this discussion? Of the discussion. Yeah. 
Excellent. Okay, we'll add Adam to the list. All right. We also have uh, X no J D J D X T T I. I'm sorry, oh, I don't know. Go. Hello. Would you like to be Hello, a part son. of? Hello. Hello, J D. Yes. Do you want to discuss environment with us? Yes, sir. Um... Okay, JDX. Can I just draw you the JDX, or what? We what would you like to be called? J <laughs> um... Hear me, fam. <laughs> that is cringe. Okay, JD. I feel like oh, kind of taking advantage of this guy. So. Okay, JD, no. JD, are you serious? You want to take part in this discussion or shall we uh, leave your spot to someone who really wants to improve their English skills? I'm serious. In okay, M Mubis, how about you, Mubis? Would you like to, Mubis or Mubis, would you like to be a part of this discussion? Uh, Hello? Oh, cool. Hi. Can we now? Yes, I can hear you, but barely. Uh, can you speak a little bit longer? I want to hear uh, the quality of your microphone. Okay. Oh. oh, hello, hello. Yes, hello. okay, right, Mubis. Okay, do you want to be a part of this discussion on the environment? Sure. Sure, okay, sure. Um, I'll take it as a yes. Okay, so we have yes. five members. Uh, all right, there's one more person. Jack, do you want to join us this time? Jack, your mic is working. Check it. Hello, Jack. Please speak now. No? Okay, well, we need one more participant then, guys. Um, this is going to be our final round of discussions. So here's your chance. Here's your chance to be a part of this historic lesson. Um, Thank you. Okay, so who is joining? Right, I'm going to do a countdown to 10 and then basically just um, get started. Okay, SSG, how about you? You're a visitor to our server. Welcome. Where uh, would you like to take part in this discussion? SSG? Yes. Okay, SSG. Okay, you are part of our discussion then. All right, welcome. So uh, let's load the wheel of names with our participants. Here we go. And uh, if you are not on Twitch, please head over there right now because we are going to load the questions on the screen. So who is going to be our who is going to be our discussion group leader? Let's find out. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm here, but um, I can't seem to find the Twitch. Okay, the Twitch the Twitch is link is twitch.tv slash English spot. English spot, S-P-O-T, one word. Okay, so the questions will be on the screen for you. And that is Dylan. Was it Dylan? You were the, you were the, you were the leader. Now let's choose our uh, timekeeper. <laughs> Our timekeeper. Let's find out. Song. Song, are you here? Hello, Song. Are you here? Song, are you here? He's unmuting and muting. I think he's not able to talk. I see. So, so maybe maybe that is a connection problem. Okay, that is possible. Spotty Wi-Fi can do that. Okay, let's choose our timekeeper. SSD! It looks like you are it. KDDR, Twitch URL, twitch.tv slash English spot, if I'm correct, right? Yes, twitch.tv slash English spot, that's correct. Okay, SSG, you'll be our timekeeper. Next, our active participant. Okay, uh, anybody else wants to join our lesson? Because we just lost one member, so I, I can uh, allow another member to join us. 
Let's see Devil's Advocate. Who's going to be our Devil's Advocate? Okay, Nubis. Nubis? Congratulations, you are going to be our... All right, and I see our uh, member just joined us, Not. His name is Not M. Not LMJ. Now, Not LMJ, could you s confirm that you want to be a part of this discussion? Hello? Not LMJ, uh, can, you, can you please speak up now? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work. So he's having mic issues. Yes, that's too bad. He's okay. Having mic issues. Yes. So what I really suggest uh, users is before the class, join the class and see if your mic as equipment is working, so that we can avoid these issues in the future. Okay. Thank you, Adam. You are going to be our summarizer. Okay. Very good. Good. The switch now. For the questions. Oh, the Twitch link is twitch.tv slash English spot. English S-P-O-T, like a spot, you know, a place. And um, okay. and if you are if you are confused, you can always click on my profile and you will see the links are there in my profile on Discord. All right, everybody. Oh, we, okay, thank you. All right. So uh, what we have here is our questions on the environment. Is personal convenience killing us? Is it killing our planet? Um, and we talked about things uh, that are convenient in our lives and unfortunately they are impacting our environment negatively. We are going to get started. Our third round of discussions is starting right now, guys. Let's get started. We, uh, we start from the fifth question since uh, the beginning, uh, the good. people that have been listening for. Yeah, the people that have been listening for a while probably want to know. Excellent. So we have, this, let yeah. me read it so that everyone is familiar with the question. Some people think the environment is actually not in crisis and most of the world is just overreacting. Do you share this view? What do you think about this view? It's called, um, some people call it the, the, gli uh, the climate change denial. Okay, people who deny it, they're, um, they're called the deniers. I mean, deniers. Yes, yeah. okay. So that seems like a good question to get started with. Leader, mm -hmm. are you ready? Let's yes. go. All right, here's the list of your participants. You can call them by name. And of course, uh, time is starting right now. Take it away. Um, JDXTTI. Well, that person is not a part of our discussion. Sorry. So, so we have Dylan, SSG, Autumn, Miao Ming, Mubis, and Adam. And Can I go first? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just jump in. Let's not waste time. To be honest, I don't think. I don't think it's quite right because the environment is actually in a crisis. If you look at China in the recent days, the excessive rain is causing flood. And I don't think it's just a random environmental, uh, uh, what do you call, disaster. It's not a random environmental disaster uh, rather than a series of environmental pollution and other things. To be honest, our environment is really decaying in the in the past couple of 50 years or something like that. Since industrialization is become has become more common, because we are rapidly in, uh, as a species we are in evolving too fast. I think because industrialization has reached a certain point that our too much bad things are happening to the environment. To be honest, I think. And the, who, the people who think that environment is still okay and it is not in a crisis, I think they they have their head in the sand, I guess, because they're not looking at pro looking at the environment properly. If you look all over all over the world, they, I think the environment is quite in a poor condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, jump in, jump in. Condition. Interesting points. Because talking alone is a bit weird. Someone please. Yes, join. right. Okay, well, um, am I allowed to talk in this or not? Okay, well, I'm... yes. Oh, yes. Okay, join, cool. us. Right. join us. Join mm us. -hmm. 
Okay, so, well, uh, with, with something uh, that I must say is that uh, usually uh, people who brand, uh, people uh, usually brand certain politicians as uh, climate change deniers, right? And what they usually talk about is they're trying to, uh, they are asking for a, um, oh, let me word this right, hold on. Uh, okay, someone else take the stage. My bl my brain just went blind. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Guys, seven minutes to go. Jump in and discuss the topic. Um, I agree with Autumn Shell. Oh. You can continue, continue. J JVX, TTI, you can go. All right, guys, there's silence. What should I do? Jump in and take it away. It's your time. Okay, if anyone no one is speaking, then can I can sleep? I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yes, okay, we can so hear you. I think, I think uh, <laughs> some uh, <laughs> talking points that's happening recently is that, you know, some uh, talking, talking points are that uh, the uh, world is going to end in 20 years. And usually, usually what we see is uh, politicians usually use this uh, uh, static data from, uh, I think, the 1970s. Uh, of um, the media asking certain uh, scientists uh, about the climate change, right? And usually what uh, politicians to pass certain laws, they bring this and they point out like this, uh, that 71 percentage of scientists agree that uh, climate change is going to end the world or something along those lines. So my problem with that is that, first of all, science isn't based on consensus, right? And the other problem is that the uh, people that conducted this study asked really vague questions. It was not specific at all, and it was multiple vague questions, and it was manipulated to that extent. And the scientists they asked weren't uh, keen to the climate. Uh, they were asking scientists in general to, to, to an extent that is that is the problem i have with it right when you claim that the world is going to end in the next 10 years or the next 20 years any thoughts so then it's again a lot of people point. will mm -hmm. use something oh. like that uh, yeah, Danny, use... what? then again a lot of politicians will use something like that they'll talk about global warming or something that could end the world oh. just to try to further their point and make them seem more believable and make people think that they would do something about it. Then again, a lot oh. of the time they don't. That's that's where the over-exaggeration comes from, right? Politicians over-exaggerate so they can get in power uh, because people feel like if they if they elect them and they're going to do something. Uh, so And what ends up happening is we don't really have any solution for climate change right now and we are not able to quantify how much of it it's related to human related things right At the most we can really? do is uh, the, we can't legislate our way through climate change the only thing we could do is uh slowly transition away from fossil fuels right but ha that has to be done naturally the government should have no place in coming into an economy a free market and legislating and uh, regulating the entire market because that would that would crash the economy and that would go terribly for the environment and also the world and for the people but the best again, solution the best solution over. in my mm -hmm. uh, well switching over to fossil fuels you could uh, point at things like nuclear plant energies right it is also a solution so what i'm saying is if there's an efficient and profitable way to do it that uh, if we can invent something like this People are going to adapt it and third world countries and China and other countries that don't care about the environment much are going to also adapt it. That's really the only solution. And even then, it's not going to solve the climate change that is happening. Minutes, because... right. Personally, I think a lot with nuclear energy can also be extremely harmful. Like they created the Demon Core. They were trying to make a more profitable, profitable. way and easier way of using nuclear energy and they just ended up causing a disaster. A lot of the times I think we need to take more time back on advancing it before we just try to move it forward. Because things like that, especially splitting atoms, it's not always the best to try to rush. Exactly, that's I my point. Yeah, and another thing, I think time is running out, so we should end this question. And I would like to, last, I would like to add the last two lines that the persons who have not like uh, experienced the uh, environmental change firsthand can, uh, cannot describe how hard it is to adapt to these new situations. Like in China, this rain is 
too much to bear and also other third world countries where environmental pollution is just too much it's really hard to adapt to the situation especially the poor mm -hmm. people so the i think the people <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes, and, and also in democratic countries, like uh, Konda said, that uh, political uh, political figures use environment. Uh, to be honest, in uh, democratic countries, whenever there is an election going on, this environmental issue becomes a hot topic for the uh, voting system. Two minutes like, thirty seconds, guys. Yes, I know the time is coming on. So I think we should move on to the fourth question. I think it's pretty much ended. On the five. Okay, if you want to move to the next question, just tell me and I'll scroll up. Are we going to the first question or the fourth question? Which one? I think we should go to the fourth. Let's just head backward. Okay, so the what do you think is the problem behind it all? Is it uh, the economy or is it personal uh, selfishness? What do you think? Should I start fast? I think it's the economy. Yeah, same. Because... Okay, because economy, yeah, just keep going. And again, you got to remember not everybody can afford. Yeah, so are you could saying, Danny, you're you saying that, that uh, some people cannot afford uh, buying drinks in uh, glass bottles because they are more expensive than those in plastic bottles, right? Precisely. A lot of people say there are reasonable markets, yes, but then again, there are places like Walmart where someone in poverty or is maybe not middle class could easily get groceries and buy things to feed their family and children and again we have to remember these people and not just cut them out of the equation interesting points guys come on jump in and either rebut or support uh, the speaker uh, to me i think uh, in uh, to blame economy for the whole situation is kind of bad because look economy is not a whole wheel and it's a cycle of the world cycle of mechanics uh, made up many several small wheels like we have society we have job we have uh, salary family like think about this uh, as an example if you have a small industry that's uh, producing products that harm the uh, econ uh, let's say environment and in that industry 1000 people has jobs like they their 1000 families depend on that industry so if you were to move on to a like sudden change into the environmental section overnight, that industry would go just bankrupt and 1,000 people would starve, to be you honest. You gotta agree with that because there are a lot of jobs and money that comes from fossil fuels yes. and lights. Yes. And if we would just immediately switched it over, multiple different companies and assets would crash. Yes, like it's not just the company heads, it's also the people behind it. You have to think about Time it. Time is up! <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. I know. Wow. Look at that. All right. Wow. We, need more time. <laughs> we need more time. We need more time. Well, what do you mean? We haven't solved all the world's problems yet? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, no, that was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing, guys. That was awesome. Well, listen, uh, let's just ask our summarizer. Adam, are you still here? Adam. Oh, hello. Hi, Adam. Yes, uh, your job was the summarizer. So what I'm going to ask you to do is basically, can you give us two interesting points that you heard during this discussion and you want to just reiterate them to the audience? Um, yeah, try it. Take it away. Summarizer. Go. So I don't know who said this, but someone said that it's because of money and the development of larger, more urbanized economies that climate change is here. For example, like different businesses like go to different countries and they exploit the people who have no money there and they give them um like cheap jobs to do. Um, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. So that was one point. What about another point that may be stuck in your head? Something that is wow, that was interesting or I never thought about that. I think you just left. Oh, okay. okay. Who I wants to all right, so who can do the rest? Yes, uh, Autumn, you want to take it away? Yes. Summarize um, it for us. From, uh, the first point, like I want to state the, the two points uh, individually. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I think for the fifth question, uh, I don't think uh, 
It's actually the uh, well, the people who think that environment is not in the crisis is really wrong. And I think, as Danny said, it's some it's better to sometimes to preserve to preserve the environment. We should take a step back or move slow in order to preserve the uh, environment. And as for the fourth question, I think we sh uh, as for the economy, just we should not just blame the economy and also, but also think about the people in behind. Okay, I think you <laughs> you are breaking up. Something is happening to your connection, unfortunately. But I really agree. <laughs> no, no, Whoever I is don't. eating I'll on say. mic, please stop. <laughs> please uh, stop. Please stop eating the microphone. <laughs> yes. No well, one thank likes you. that noise. They well, don't want you know to give Actually, you a tip. Yes, I yeah, agree. Man. I agree with you. And whenever I agree with the speaker, this is the sound you're going to hear. Okay, that's when I agree with the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that yeah, was okay. that was amazing uh that was good now let's just reflect quickly on our uh on our discussion here because i think some excellent points were raised you guys were performing really really well this time around but i want to ask our participants if you really uh did your best and whether you think you're satisfied with what you did and what was that thing and if you were to improve what would you improve <laughs> So, who wants to go first? Sorry, could you uh, repeat that? I can't hear. Yeah, like, okay. Okay. Right, right. Let's, let's pack it in At a this... compact, compact language. Name one thing that went well and one thing that you would improve. Go. <laughs> one thing that went well was I was able to get my point into a small, effective way. Excellent. One thing that I would change is possibly elaborate more on some things instead of just speeding through. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So oh, basically, uh, instead of mentioning many points, focus on one point, but maybe uh, support it with uh, with some extra evidence, right? Okay. It, it's very rude, like, very rude to uh, eat in the mic, please. Okay, well, I'm uh, not sure if it's a person is actually eating the mic or it could be a connection problem, you know? Sometimes Wi-Fi is spotty in different parts of the world, so let's just... <laughs> Give them the uh, benefit Mr. of the I, I doubt. I hear like giggling, like laughing. Yes, I, I muted that person. I muted that person. Okay, well, let's let's uh, not, never mind that. Let's focus on the task. Anybody else would like to um, re? I would like to say something. As for yes. me, just, like Danny said, I I also try to focus on one point, but I have the words on my mind, but it's not just coming out of my mouth. So it's just. I think I would perform better if I had more experience speaking since I'm not a native speaker and I have Yes, I understand what you're saying, but actually this is the point of this lesson. This is a lesson for English learners and we are doing this to improve our uh, discussion skills. Do you understand that? And that's why you are needed here because this lesson is for you. So just um, keep Autumn, doing one what thing you're doing. you can do to help your vocabulary is listen to debates, online debates. Just listen to the lives and stuff like that, and it could definitely help your vocabulary and help you Very good speak suggestion. with more professionalism. Very good Duolingo suggestion. Duolingo also helps. Um, it's like it's an app uh, to help you learn all sorts of languages. Or I you can book a that. private lesson with me. Okay, well, I needed to squeeze that in. <laughs> yes, well, you know what? Um, I think that was really good. Maybe we can ask one more person to uh, to reflect on their performance. Who would that be uh, if you want to volunteer? Three, two, one. Uh, me? Yes, Dylan, go ahead. Um, I think it would be like, what? What was the word? Less congested? maybe like tight it's 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 really fast so like maybe people won't be able to like i don't i don't know how to explain it i think um, i'll explain it i have that point i want to make this point when i give you guys my feedback so i can make that point if that's okay is that all right i hope that's the same point of course all right guys well thank you i want to give a big round of applause to our participants excellent job that was epic. That was really good. As young people say, epic. <laughs> All right. And um. mm -hmm. yes, question. Sorry, a comment. OK, no. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for feedback from the teacher. OK. 
All right, so the third round of discussions. Guys, we are climbing, we're reaching new heights here, okay? The first one was pretty good. The second one was even better. Now the third one was awesome. It was just amazing. Now, the good thing about it was uh, that there were, there were some uh, more, more advanced topics, right? More abstract ideas being discussed and that everyone was able to get their points across even though many of us, you know, are maybe uh, learners of English and are not comfortable with the language, with the vocabulary, you guys did really great. Now, in terms of improvement, I would really suggest that um, once you commit yourself to speaking, just speak, uh, because you know what is going to happen. There is some delay on the line. So one person says, ah, and then steps back, and then another person wants to say something, ah, and then steps back and there's this confusion so when you commit to speaking don't worry just start speaking and the other person who was a little bit later is just going to back away and just listen to you so i want you to really value the 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 the, 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 the importance of the, of the now okay the now is what matters and you are on the stage you are acting you are an active participant it's your time to speak don't hesitate uh, that's the only way I would improve, improve this last round of discussions. I hope this is useful for you. Of course, uh, your suggestion, Danny, was excellent to listen to debates is a great idea. Uh, but even this is an exercise that you can do uh, by yourself. You don't need another person. You can just talk to yourself in English as you go about your day. OK, so you can be thinking about your weekend plans. You can be talking about how you're feeling right now. You can be um, uh, re uh, rehearsing the shopping list in your head. As long as you're talking to yourself in English, you are improving and you are you know, formatting your brain for sharing up, uh, ideas. So what do you think about that feedback? Do you find it useful? It was extremely useful, yes. Excellent. Well, that's great, guys. Again, big thank you to all our participants today. It was amazing. Um, hey, guys, once again, uh, please consider supporting uh, the channel, making it grow. Maybe uh, invite your friends here, and uh, if they are learners as well, this will be really helping them. And join us um, next time. Do I donate? Uh, well, on the Twitch, there are various ways to donate. You can donate by PayPal, you can donate by becoming a, a regular member, uh, a fan, a big fan, or a giant fan of the channel. So you can see on the screen, there are various ways of doing that. And of course, join our Discord uh, server, the English Hub. Let me just refresh the screen. OK, we have just gained 50 new members during my conversation here with you guys, which is amazing. Um, all right, so join us next time. These conversations take place three times a week. Uh, I am open to discussion topics, so always DM me. DM means direct message. Message me on Discord if you have a suggestion for a topic. And it's even better if you can come up with like four or five questions, which are in the format of debate questions or discussion questions. And then I can just easily incorporate that into my lesson. And by the way, guys, follow this website of mine called English Palette, English Palette on buymeacoffee.com. And basically, every time I post a new post with discussion questions, you will be able to um, be notified. And also, you can write additional questions as comments. So take advantage of that feature because it's all there for you. Well, listen, everyone, I thank you again to all our participants. I hope you had a wonderful time. If you had no chance to join us today, join us next time. And I'm signing off. I'm looking forward to uh, reconnecting with you next time on English Palette. Bye for now. See you guys. All right. For have well. an awesome day. day. Bye. Excuse me, I have a question. <laughs> I think JDXTT